Let's just imagine I'm watching an asteroid about the size of a house coming towards us. What exactly is the plan? To take a robotic spacecraft to go out and identify and capture a five to 10 meter asteroid, uh, maybe weighing up to 500 metric tons, to bring that asteroid back to the Earth-Moon system. And so what you're seeing there now on the video now is a robotic spacecraft with these large uh, solar, electric, uh, solar panels, the inflatable type device. This is the capture mechanism to be able to capture this five to 10 meter asteroid. Um, and and, and it's, it's a very significant challenge on how to do that. How do you de-spin, how do you de-tumble one of these asteroids and how do you, how do you capture it? There is $105 million in the budget to begin this ambitious project. It will utilize many systems and technologies already in place and it will depend upon development of high-powered solar propulsion systems and continued progress on the Space Launch System rocket and the Orion spacecraft. So here's the idea. So we, we, bring, this, we bring this asteroid to the, what we call the Earth-Moon system, translunar space, maybe 66,000 kilometers away from the moon in an orbit. And then we can take humans, crew, on the new launch vehicle that we're developing and in the new human-rated capsule that we're developing. And we can take those humans then and go and explore and uh, characterize and bring samples back from the asteroids. I have to ask you what most of us wonder about with respect to asteroids having seen too many sci-fi movies. Will this help in any way to uh, prevent a killer asteroid impacting this planet in the future? Right, so that's, that's exactly, you know, there's a lot of focus on what we call planetary protection and the ability to do that. And the first step of that, of course, is identification of, of the objects and finding any that would come our way. And so there's money certainly in there and our ability to systematically look for and detect asteroids. The second part of this is our ability to navigate, rendezvous, uh, you know, even in this case, attach to and understand asteroids will we'll help, will pave the way, will pave the foundation for larger targets in the future should we need to be able to uh, uh, augment, move, or manipulate a larger object. Dr. Michael Grzarek, Associate Director of the NASA Space Technology Mission Directorate, talking about their mission to capture, explore, and perhaps someday tame an asteroid headed towards Earth. Charles Fishburne, WCVE News.